Hello there, this is Evelyn here. Today I'm here to talk to service business providers. One of the questions I get from service business owners is how do I read my financials? How do you, how I use this data to make relevant information? One of the things that especially comes to mind are how profitable are my customers? You know, how do I know which ones are making me money and which ones are not? Well, this set of videos right here are here to talk about the things you need to know for your service business specifically, what you need to do to pull the right relevant data from your financial systems. With the right systems in place, you can get information like profits per customers from your data, from your financial records, actual labor versus estimated labor because you want to know if your employees are on track. You can get information about relationship between marketing and sales growth, the trend of administrative cost code growth, overall profit growth, cost trends, and growth in assets, debt, and equity. You especially want to know the growth in assets and equity because as a business owner, part of why you're in the business is to build assets because that's the whole purpose, right? You want to build assets either because you either want to sell in the future or you want an asset that can provide you for retirement or you can pass down to your children. And if your assets are not growing, if everything you have in your business, and when I say assets, I'm not really just talking about tangible assets. If everything in your business is getting used up and your assets are not growing, then you don't really have anything else but a job. But when your assets are growing, it could grow, the intangible assets will cause growth in other assets like cash and other assets that you can actually turn back into more profits in the future. So that's why you want to keep track of the growth in assets in the business. So this video, sets of videos right here, are not really going to go specifically into how to pull these reports, but what that will show you is how to have the right system in place so you can have the right set of information from your financial systems. So in the next video, we'll talk about planning and budgeting, which is a very, very first step in getting the right data from your financial systems. Without a planning and a budget, then it's really hard to get the right data into your financial system. Planning and budgeting sounds as a baseline for which you can begin to make decisions. Then once you have the plan and the budget, then you have to keep track of the important data. So that's what the third video is going to talk about. It's going to talk about how to track that data so you can pull the right information out from your financial system. And the last video will be talking about getting the right information from your financial system. So as you can see, I'm talking about a set of systems you can use to create, you can use, and you can use that as a baseline for creating a set of systems so you can get the right data from your financial system so you can make the right decisions. For example, are your customers profitable? How do you know which customers you need to fire and which ones you need to keep? Which ones you need to raise prices for, which ones you need to talk to, all that financial data provides a very, very important role in running your business. So I'll see you in the next video. Look forward to it.